And we've made it to not Bose. Wait, no. We were leaving Bose. We weren't going to Bose. We we're going to like a trading. Okay. We're going to a port city. Which probably should be bigger than Bose, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, typically, a port would be larger than an inland city. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hmm. Minoria. It's a little seaside village with an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. Really? Because they're... Wait. But they're clearly a tree. about that but also I don't know I mean uh, the ocean is definitely like has a distinct smell I don't know if I'd call it a good smell that's true okay let's go check out the inn There's nothing back there. Zack was fired from his job in Rouen, so he came back here. I have to wonder if he ever puts any thought into his future. His big sister's always worried about him. You say in third person, I presume? Uh, I used to work at the harbor in Rouen, but I came back to the village of my birth. I'll probably wind up settling down right where I was born. The only downside is that my oh so delightful sister is here. I sympathize with the sister, TBH. Hmm. It is good manners to introduce ourselves to the town elder. Right? Sure. If you're looking for a place to go eat, I'd suggest you try the White Magnolia. They've got good food and you'll get a fair amount for your money. Ah, more travelers! Welcome to Mino Minoria. At one time, this village was quite renowned for its inn. But with the advent of airships, we've seen far less traffic. Nowadays, we only survive because of the famous flowers. This room is empty. Had a nice fireplace in the corner, though. Completely unattended. Hmm. Uh... Oh? These flowers you see everywhere, they're a breed called Magnolia. Aren't they positively gorgeous? Oh, you sell bear claws! Let's take some of those. My granddaughter, Sadi, really is the sweetest girl. Her parents left to find work, but Sadi he stays here to be with me. I'm truly grateful. Fine. Mm, 
nope, need more of that. To the end. We're all woodsmen, hikers, and mountain nuts here. We came to Manoria so that we could do some climbing in the Crone Mountains. Okay. I know Manoria is the best place to sit off for a week for a trek up Crone Mountains. We're just trying to get everything we need to make the climb safe. Oh, okay. That sounds good. I might actually recipe in here. I am a little... Oh, this is pleasant. I mean, in actual fact, it's because I'm low in EP. How much does it cost to spend the night? 60? Yeah, that's probably worth it. 60 is like nothing. Oh, I didn't consider that I was about to eat this though. <laughs> uh, 450. Welcome to the White Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here on vacation? No, we're just passing through on the way to Rouen. We just came from Bosse by the way of the Crowing Pass. You're joking! Wow, I never thought I'd meet another person brave enough to handle that place in this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume. Not especially. Sure works up an appetite, though. Oh yes, I'd suggest trying the box lunch. The windmill at the edge of town has a platform with a great view. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them there to eat. Well, there's smoked ham. There's the seafood pala. Either would be good, in my opinion. Thank you, that'll be 120 Mira. We'll take them! I'll toss in some herb tea at no charge. Uh, it's my specialty. Oh, well. 200 Cures Confusion. At that price, that sounds good. Uh, I've had these before, but we'll buy one anyway. I've already checked here. He's not in the general store either. Damn, where could he be? Get a move on, Joshua! Estelle's gonna run straight into this girl. Yep! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, are you okay? I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, and... No, no, it's alright. Pardon me, I confess my intention was elsewhere as well. So I guess we're- No, you're not, Estelle! <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. It's because you noticed the uniform. No, I'm fine. I was looking for someone, and I wasn't gonna watch where I was going. No, that doesn't sound quite right. I wasn't watching where I was going. A little boy, about ten years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you've seen him by any chance. Hmm. I see. Where could he be? 
If you'll excuse me, sorry to have caused you any trouble. Does, wait, does, does Joshua have a thing for school uniforms? Oh, uh, what was it? <laughs> no, now, no need to be shy about it. I see the way she set your heart a flutter. Absolutely not! I just think I've met her before. A long time ago. I was just surprised. <laughs> I think Joshua has a thing for girls in uniform. Um, that is that is now my opinion. It is now my headcanon. It is now, it, as far as I'm concerned, it is now fact. Um, the Genesis Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Rouen, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. And here I assumed the Royal Academy would be in the capital, but I guess someone did mention that earlier. That it was here. She seemed polite and smart and refined. Totally different from that scruffy crew pretender. Oh, that's right. You teased her me about it then, too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. Instead of picking on me, why not work on becoming a better judge of character? Fine, I won't pick on you anymore. But you do like girls in uniforms. You totally like them. Admit it. No, I cannot see a damn thing from this <laughs> angle. Except for the roof. Okay. This is an improvement. I cannot see a stellar Joshua. Smells so good. I'm looking forward to eating my seafood, personally. I love the smell of saffron. Wow, it's as good as it smells. The lettuce is super fresh and crunchy. The payload is really good, too. Just the right amount of saffron. My compliments to the chef. Don't, don't do it, Joshua. Don't take her trap. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what that sweet peppery smell is, but it really adds something. Casey, but you really didn't have to do that, you know? The herbal tea we got for meals was pretty good. The breeze is so nice, makes me kind of sleepy. <laughs> I was gonna say seagull, but that does not look like a seagull to me. It did not look like a seagull! It looked nothing like a seagull! I guess it was sort of a vaguely the same color as a seagull? Well, okay, you know, there may be regional seagulls that look like that, but it didn't look like a gull! 
The proportions were all wrong. Exactly. I wonder if that's a sign of good fortune. Huh. Yep, let's do that. Oh, oh hey, it's the little boy! Sorry about that, I'm just looking for someone. Say, you're not from around here, are you? What? We ran into a girl who said she was looking for a boy who was wearing a cap. You know anything about that? Oh, I'm looking for her, actually. Where do you see her? No, that, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find her. Okay, bye! That kid seems pretty energetic. He reminds me a little of Luke. I wonder what those kids are up to. It might just be my imagination, but... Have you lost anything? Anything you're wearing? Like a money pouch? He stole my bracer emblem! Why would he steal that? I remember that he had it when we were eating lunch. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. The kid clearly stole it. But why would he steal it? Seriously, why would he want it? Yeah, let's hunt him down. He ran this way, so... He... Was he a student's guest at the Royal Academy? He's not from this town. I think he's one of the orphans. From Mercia Orphanage. A woman called Matron Theresa is the administrator. She takes in kids who've lost their parents. It's just all it's just off of the Gull Seaside Way to the east. Ooh, it's a beach. Well, let's fight some new fish monsters. Uh, these shark have these sharks have legs. That's that's weird. You guys are weird. Oh, okay. That seems to have worked quite well. Actually, that's that then. Let's move out. Fill this chest with your tears because it's empty. Uh, that's what the other one said. They both seem to have the same text. That's a little disappointing, TBH. That was just Earth, which is like... I have lots of... I want to fight this. Night Nautilus. Tons of HP. Ha! 
not an extraord not an outrageous amount of defense. And it explodes. Well, that wasn't that bad. That's that then. Let's move out. I wonder if it no. No. Uh Attack double. Oh. This does not tell me what it drops. Oh, no, it does. Evade 2. Which would actually probably be pretty good. Like, I don't know if I have one. Also, uh, no, I don't want Roland. Oh, there was a monster here that I didn't fight? I bet it was a palm. I bet it was a palm. But let's just I'm I'm curious right now. HP2? Uh Shining Palm. Uh HP2, Evade 2, Poison, hmm. Oh, you know what, the monster I'm missing is the big monster that I didn't fight. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. <laughs> so very disappointing. Yeah, that might be a good call. 